Hi, uh, back to this example two just for a second. I want to show something that I was talking with the kids in class is once again, I picked the rise and run between these two points. These were the two points that I picked. Um, as long as it's drawn correctly, I can pick any two points. So if I pick this point and this point to calculate the, the slope, this is going to be the run. Now that new run is four units. And this new rise is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's negative 8 units. These two triangles are similar, which means that they have the same ratio of side lengths. Remember, we've been dealing with that. What that means is that the slope of this green one being rise over run is going to be negative 8 over 4. So now we have to think about reducing that. 8 is negative 4 times 2, and 4 is 2 times 2, if you want, or 4 times 1. It doesn't matter. We'll get there eventually. One is faster than the other. But if I reduce this, you see the 4 here and the 4 here reduce. So I had multiply by 4 on top and divide by 4 on bottom, and it leaves me with negative 2 over 1 which is the exact same slope that I have with this smaller triangle. And I could have even done it just between these two points if I wanted. Over 1, down 2. So notice that the slope between this point and this point is negative 2 over 1. The slope between this point and this point is negative 2 over 1. The slope between this point and this point is negative 2 over 1. The difference is always negative 2 over 1. That's the ratio. That's what makes a line, is the fact that that's a constant ratio all the time. That's how we get a line. When the ratio changes, it becomes a curve. And we're going to talk about that in a unit in a bit. Okay? So that's kind of neat. So we could have picked any points that we wanted. <laughs> I'm glad that this one lined, lined up better. My graph was better, so it actually worked out. And we were able to see that I can work between any of those points.